So I went through another. I went through another puberty. Okay, what's the topic today, guys? <laughs> Um, so going off of a lot of comments that we've gotten recently, and also just like, this has been a common question a lot on social media when people see our mm-hmm. vans kind of for the first time, or they're like going through our website, seeing what we offer, that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. Um, a lot of people, the two main ones are toilets and refrigerators. So people want, you know, a variety of choices. They want something different. So, um, I want you to talk a little bit about how we choose what we have. That's not like, you know, Van Duet didn't construct this fridge right. so or this toilet. So how we go about choosing those first and foremost and then get into how choosing people. Those, choosing brands, like why, yeah. what, comparison. Yeah, and contrast. there's a lot of others. I mean, like the awnings and yeah. like the AC unit and fan and just like yeah. a bunch of different stuff like that. Um, okay. So... Uh, like you start talking like vendors, you start talking relationships. So um, I'm very big on a relationship. I'm very big on, you know, building relationships with our vendors. And a lot of times it's also, it's also how simple can we keep support? Um, now I'll put an asterisk on that and say that's not completely by choosing the most simple items. Okay. Yeah. It's more about, when I say simple support, it's a matter of, so like we use Dometic for our ACs. Um, How many other items can we use Dometic for so it's only one more company that we have to order from? Or one less company, I guess I should say. So that's where a lot of it goes, is in the mindset of, hey, we already work with this company. Again, it's kind of relationship. If I really like the vendor, personally. Yeah. um, it helps a lot because, you know, we can just build a relationship together. Um, same thing we ask our owners to do with us. I want to do with our vendors. And so, you know, Dometic's a perfect example. Um, they've been with us since the very beginning. The relationship has only grown. Uh, that's the same way with Masterbolt. You know, that's Masterbolt is also like the C-Zone and, and all mm-hmm. of our lithium systems. That relationship has only grown. As it's grown and become more powerful by lithium capacity. Aha, pun no intended. Pun, yeah, no pun um, intended. <laughs> pun was intended. Um, you know, and, and we start figuring out, okay, it's it's starts to become a level of almost trust with mm-hmm. the vendors we choose towards like, hey, we've been through thick and thin on certain items. You've always held, you've always stood up to your product. Mm-hmm. Now that we know you've done that, what else can you do for us? That's how we get into a lot of our components. Yeah. Um, so CFX fridges, which are Dometics. We've looked at ARBs. We've looked at, I think it's Iceco. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there's like four or five other brands. Now, when I say looked at them, we've done a level of R&D with a few of them. um, Just from trade-ins where customers own them. So, like, we get a chance to play with them. And we Mm -hmm. like or dislike. Customers come in for service. So, we see theirs that's a different brand. So, we get a chance to ask them how they use it. We get a chance to get hands-on with it. Uh, Going to trade shows, we get to see other products. So... Some stuff, and I can give a couple examples here in a second, but, you know, some stuff is just a matter of this is really work, so why try to venture away from it? Mm -hmm. I will say that... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. (laughs) Yes. I will say that, um, so you mentioned fridges, you mentioned toilets. Mm -hmm. Those are definitely Um, the top two that people ask about. So right now we use a toilet that's dry flush, um, so it's self-bagging. It's not compost, no water, no nothing. It's a cartridge. Mm-hmm. Um, cartridges can become expensive based on how much you use the unit. You get 15, 15 flushes. It's yeah. amazing for smell. It's amazing for usage. It's amazing for cleanliness and ease. Um, but there's a price tag yeah. involved. The toilet itself is not cheap. Yeah. Um, the canisters are not cheap. Um, well, based on how expensive you say a flush should be. But yeah. um, it's also not biodegradable it's not eco-friendly you know Mm -hmm. i will say it's not real in my eyes it's not really eco-friendly um and so on the topic of toilets it is like a task that i gave um to ian who's a part of customer support um for our new build sheet to find us and see about a cheaper option because of one for price tag, mm-hmm. two for one that offers a different functionality. 
Yeah. And so, um, you know, so that's something I tasked him with. Now, are we going to order in 10 brands of a cheaper toilet and test them against each other? No. Are we going to go probably off the basis of, you know, forums, reviews, and then what vendor and what company seems to work best with? Yes. Yeah. Um, and that's where sometimes we do go to utilize a product. We do get a chance to test it in-house. And we realize, uh, we got to change it. Um, yeah. An example currently of that is our water spigots, um, how you connect like our coil hose for spray down. They've worked for years. They've been great for years. Um, not sure what the difference is, but we've had to change two brands because the other ones became no longer UL listed. So we are trying to stick with the same design, but, but trying to be locked to the same design has made us have to use a cheaper product. Mm -hmm. And finally, customer support said, no more. So we jumped to uh, kind of a new design, quick connect, disconnect system um, that is not RV based. You know, it's like a little bit from a different industry, a little more rugged. And so our hand got forced from supply chain to have to go a different route, which only forced us to better, you know. Yeah. And so that's how sometimes we land where we are. But, you know, on the toilet comment um or i guess item you know it's a matter of we hear from our owners and or we look at inventory mm -hmm. we sent out 200 whatever vans last year when we sent out that many vans how many toilets did we order at that same time mm -hmm. well only you know 40 percent of vans left with a toilet okay why so you dive into it and you start looking at the analytics mm -hmm. metrics and all those things and so we've known for a long time we need to offer a cheaper toilet. There yeah. does become that question of because there's so many out there, should we only offer one or should we offer two? What's lo what logistics makes sense? Yeah. Um, and that goes in decision making. Uh, so often, you know, it's our goal to become a complete package. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you want to kind of see a complete package that I would say is to the point of, like 97% completion, I would say that, I mean, I would say like watch the Altuve video, um, or I guess the, I shouldn't, that's a customer name, um, but the, the, the blue, the blue move. <laughs> yeah, so I think oh, he's, fine with oh, it, he, he, he wants, you're us famous. To, he, he wants, he, Miguel wants us to scream it from the rooftop. So, um, but, um, you know, I think that's that, level completion that i want to strive for for 2025 yeah um not did he to... get a toilet in the... i don't even remember he uh he opted for Why'd ours <laughs> he opted for ours Austin he, giggled. Op he opted out of ours a lot of it he was okay. waffling on the price because waffling. Ag again is waffling that a, is that you gotta, a phrase <laughs> uh if it's i not, like it if it's waffling it's i'd it's like a waffle. it yeah okay um, makes sense i don't, I, don't I mean i understood i just yeah. had never heard it before <laughs> But, uh, but no, there's that, there's that second part for him was, is you have pricing functionality, not really sure. So for now, for starters, he started with a bucket, you know, and you can see it in the video. Mm, that's why you giggled. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Austin, Austin knows what's up. Oh, uh, he also wow. personalized it with stickers. So, it, wow, but it's awesome. Wow. And I guess, and that is the, that is, is a perfect example as to why we haven't ever offered a cheaper option. Uh, we are looking now just because it makes sense after just paying attention to our customers and what they yeah. really need on pickup day. We're not day. going to a bucket though, right? Um, oh boy, if we could. I did say cheap option and he did send me... $15 toilet. <laughs> uh, maybe. It was it was a three-leg kickstand that you put a bag like through. That's it. It's not, not even a bucket. It's not even a bucket. It's three legs. Oh boy. It's awesome. If only our screen hadn't gotten robbed and we could put a photo of that up. We'll get a screen back. Man. But, um, <laughs> but you know, that's what led through the kind of why what is on the build sheet. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, again, you know, it's bug walls. Um, you yeah. know, for a long time we got beat up. I'm going to give a shout out to Josh Saunders for helping assist push me particularly in the direction of bug walls. Um, there was There's a lot of precautions with them. Um, we've worked through a lot of those. Uh, but it was that whole level of functionality, value, and then issues, and then do they do they give so many issues we can't support it? You know that because that's the other aspect too. Mm -hmm. 
no matter sometimes how good an idea could be, if it can cause enough problems, do we want to generate that all together? You know, yeah. and that's why it's a it is a constant conversation around our audio packages. Um, I'm an audiophile. I love audio. We have audio in our vans because of me. Okay. Um, Party, Jared. Again, the whole goal is that every you know I have for myself, I have for this company, is that this company can run without me. You know, and up until recently, I still did all the programs. So anyone who is listening to this that does have an audio package. You know, maybe they've been through kind of the few hurdles of getting audio sheets and things like that. This massive amount of complexity came with that system because these audio systems are digital. But we've gotten it to a process now. I'm not involved at all. And it runs smooth. Are there still issues? Yes. Are there still problems? Yes, with anything. But we weigh the differences. Mm -hmm. um, and so, but when we choose vendors... Like on audio, JL, you, you can't compete with. JL Audio, you know, it's that level of, again, if there's going to be that level of potential of headache, it better be worth it. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's going to be worth it, it needs to be good stuff. Yeah. So, and JL is amazing. You know, we yeah. use VX amps. I mean, it's shout out to JL. Um, but, you know, we use really good stuff. Yeah. Because if we're going to take the time to do it and support it, it needs to be good. Yeah. You know, and it's because that's where the, the caveat becomes, or not caveat, kind of the divider is, again, it's like that cheap toilet. It's really hard for us to support a $40 to $100 toilet. Because at that price, if it breaks, go get another. I mean, that's what's really tough. Yeah. And so it's almost like it's cheap enough. Like, why are you messing with warranty? you could have already yeah. had another one for the amount of time and cost you put yeah. into trying to ship this back. So it's, um, it's kind of risk to reward. And that's mm -hmm. how we look at what we supply our customers. Yeah. Domestic fridges. They've been amazing. Do I think that there's potentially some options out there that are a little bit more budget friendly? Yes. But we know that we can back the Dometics. We know that if there's a problem with one and you have an issue with yours, we can send you a new one. We can take that one, send it off, mm -hmm. um, and or get it replaced. Like we, because yeah. we have that, we can we can offer that level of support when you're paying the money. You are, yeah. And that's what's tricky with just the price of everything. These vans, you can build one out to either cost the amount of a small home or a decent size home based on where you live. So, it's really tough <coughs> excuse me it's really tough to not give that some um weight when we're trying to make our yeah. decisions yeah. and so but like on on bug walls i know i'm jumping all around but going back to bug walls the payoff was finally there because we added enough feature into the design yeah there was enough benefit for it um, because the benefit finally got to a point of a price point that gave us enough room to support it. Yeah. You know, you know, for us, obviously, you know, and for the record, I mean, I'll be the first one to say it. The only way that we're able to give support like we do is we got to, you know, obviously make a return somewhere. Um, and yeah. so a lot of times that comes with offering good product. Yeah. You know, and, and well, and multi use product too. I think with Dometic specifically, I mean, I don't know, right, you might know right off the top of your head if there are other refrigerators that can be used as seats or mm. steps. You know, that's something else that's like it's just built to be rugged. You know, it's kind of built yeah. to withstand a little bit. You know, don't go chucking your fridge off a cliff, but like <laughs> it might survive. I don't yeah. know. You know, like they're really <laughs> tough. So, yeah. and most of the time, you can just kind of like, buff out a scuff if you hit it too hard or yeah. something you know we kind of we kind of give them a run for their money you know mm -hmm. by just using them in everyday life so that's something too that you know if it's possible like having multiple uses for it yeah is great and also just fitting into the dynamic of our builds i think is really important like with the toilet too the fact that it's rechargeable you know that you can just like plug it in for a little while it holds a charge 
I think I think it's supposed to hold a charge for like all of the flushes if you use it somewhat consecutively. Um, I don't know what the exact like it, it can. But now how much past that I don't know. Yeah. And kind of for the record on like the fridges, um, yes, like most of the brands I mentioned, like they're all chest style, portable yeah. style. They can either do AC power, DC power. Um, but I will say, you saying that reminded me, we had a van in Colorado that got broke into oh my by a bear. A literal okay? bear. <laughs> by a literal bear. <laughs> Two things in that van came out perfect. Our kit and our design and a Dometic fridge. <laughs> It did have claw marks on it. Yeah. Fully worked. Which makes it look sick. (laughs) Yeah. uh, Yeah. So, uh, but it did survive a bear attack. I wouldn't, I mean, he was really attacking the van. Yeah. All all transparency. Yeah. Um, I feel bad for that bear, honestly. That poor guy got stuck in there and was just. He got stuck. uh, Wigging out. Blood. It was, it was, uh, it was. It was a whole ordeal. Um, and now that bear van is on the road. So, and it's called bear van. And then they rebought and they called the second one bear van, I think. So, uh, but, uh, or bear tribe maybe, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's, um, the versatility, how thing, how things, so many things go into play. So it's hard to really try to get them all to my brain right now yeah. to explain. But, um, yeah. that is a big one. The versatility part how it fits into our nature, mm-hmm. um, rugged. And then maybe the, the key point is, is that we look at everything. Yeah. I really emphasize that everything from the viewpoint of functionality. Yeah. Um, and it's got a function and it's to close on this. Uh, it's why we have never done a dorm style front door opening fridge. Mm hmm. I get it. It it they're a thing. They're everywhere. There's more of those than chest. But you go down the road, your items don't stay up. When you open that door, things fall out. You yeah. can fit twice as much in a chest in the same amount of space. Every yeah. square inch in a van matters. Every square inch in an RV matters. Yeah. I get it that if you have a massive like fifth wheel that you pull behind and you got your home style fridge. Yeah. But there is a reason why home fridges typically have split doors on top and a chest style freezer below Mm -hmm. because that chest style basket below for your freezer. I mean, it's, it's a reason why it's a feature and an option. And one of the top options for fridge slash freezer combinations. And that's where I'll stop because function. Yeah. What can I fit in this space that makes the most sense? Yeah. So, rationality goes into this play as well. Yeah. So, and I'm not saying all of our decisions have been right, but I made a lot of, a lot of them wrong. There's probably a handful still on there where it's like, why? Yeah. Um, and if you're watching this video in like 2025 or 2026 or beyond, it's probably different. And you might be like, what are you talking about? You don't even offer that anymore. <laughs> yeah. Go back and check the website <laughs> tomorrow. Surprise. And then, and then a week from tomorrow. So, yeah. yeah. But, um, awesome. No, I, um, I think that's I think that's good. We could probably elaborate forever, um, yeah. but again, I mean, I would say check out the website, um, go through the components lists, kind of see, reach out to Guru. Yeah, you know, we'll dive you in deeper into why we do what we do. Yeah, ask more questions in the comments, and we can talk about it next time. Do it, and be sure to like and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can see more videos like this. Adios. Later. <laughs>